Hello and welcome to all the viewers. So in this video, we will going to discuss about our actual surface meshing that is also called as a 2D mesh or you can say like shell mesh. So if you know that in last video, we discuss about from small introduction to hyper mesh as well as we discuss about the basic options which are needed in order to perform the meshing like quick edit, surface edit, how to create nodes, how to edit the surfaces. Okay. Now in this video, we will going to discuss how to do a 2D surface mesh for this respective bracket. So we can see that in a screen this is nothing but your u bracket and you will find that the name is lws u bracket which is used in automobile support now here if you see that in order to perform the 2d mesh you just need to go here from main menu pages click on the 2d and here you will find the option called auto mesh okay now we will going to discuss what are the basic options in order to perform the surface mesh here we will also going to use a quick edit or surface edit option so that our mesh will be as good as possible now let's discuss about the surface auto mesh panel so if you see that once you will click on the 2d auto mesh you will find that the another panel here there are different options are there like if you see here either you can if you have existing elements then you can re mesh that elements with the option of this now if you want to do surface mesh you just need to select there are different options in order to select the surface like you can even click and you can select or there are by attach if you have bigger assembly in that case these options are useful so now let's start with the simple this rectangular plate mesh first and then we will go to discuss the whole portion and then fillet reasons. Then just click over here and here you can define the respective element size. Here you will find that these are nothing but your element size. So you can decide this element size based on your length. How many elements you want across the respective width. So in order to check that if you go return and go to geometry here you will find that the option called distances so you can easily measure the distance between the two points so like here and here so right approximately the distance is 23 mm so if you want 5 to 6 element across the thickness then accordingly you need to divide by that and then you will find the accurate element size so let's go further auto mesh and here let's try with the 5 mm mesh size and if you see here there are different options of mesh type if you know we here like the first one is these are the options which are mostly widely used for a 2d shell mesh so the first one you will find the chord the next one you will find the trias and then the mix the mix is nothing but the combination of chord as well as trias and then we have a right angle trias and then sometimes we only work wants a chord mesh so that you can use this option which will forcefully create the chord mesh okay now let's discuss how to create a mesh so once you will click on the element size and you will find that the chord mesh and here you will find the elements to the current component so basically we have only one component and if you also post the another component so in that you can create the mesh so generally we should create a one component which will be used as a mesh so here you can create and here you can create a component and here you can define the mesh for the u bracket and if you want here you can define the colors and here from here itself you can even define the properties as well as materials then let's create that now if you see that this is nothing but your bold name so it means that now your current component is changed and here also you can see which is your uh, current component okay now let's go further here 
select the surface and if you click here now elements to the current component or you will find the elements to the surface component so these are the two options now we will keep this element to the current component and here you can select the first order or second order option as per your convenience and there are different connectivity options so we will keep the connectivity as it is and then let's on the mesh so now if you see here the mesh is created and which is you can see that we have created with the 5 mm size now suppose if you want to change some elements like if you want to keep 4 then here you just need to click if you are clicking on the edge you will find that by respect to selecting the edge it will going to change now just click on the mesh if you want to reject then you can reject now you can even use this option called recalculate all then based on that element size it will going to calculate this click on the mesh now there furthermore if you want to set some of the uh, respect to mesh for the respect to edge then you can click on that edge and then you will find that respect to one element is created similarly if you click over here click over here you will going to find that the respect to edge size is changed now let's put here two and then select these two edges mesh let's put here three and you can select the edge okay you can even press the middle mouse button so that your mesh is performed and then if you want to do undo operation then you will find that you can use the reject option so always keep in mind you have only one times undo options in case of 2d mesh okay there are furthermore few options like you can create a smooth mesh so it is basically used uh, when you have a complex geometry and you have different curvature so in that case we can use this and if you want to abort it is nothing but as same as that undo okay then return then let's go for the 2d so what we can do now if you go here you will find that uh, we have created but let's put here a 3 and then recalculate that and mesh so you will find that this mesh is furthermore good but if you want furthermore uh, proper core mesh over here then you can do one thing you can create just click on the mesh and then return and you can go to a geometry and then quick edit if you remember we discussed these options so now let's discuss furthermore so what we can do now we can create a split over here now you can see that we have created a split and our respective elements are changed so here you will find the proper hex uh, no, proper core elements now here there are two trials so in order to change that you can use this option adjust or you can even further go to our mesh and you can do the mesh so let's do over itself so like 5 6 if you are putting 6 but now what is happening due to this curvature it's not creating a proper 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay now let's do one thing we will try furthermore 2d auto moons and here we can put right and let's go with the mesh style and here you will find that there are furthermore few options like you can define the here you can change the mesh type like cores only set all mesh reject so now let's decide here set as a rectangle so here there are different options are there as per your mesh types so let's rectangle set all mesh okay now you can find that what we did we use chord only you can even use this set all mesh but here this is another option that is mesh method if you want to create a proper rectangle mesh then you can use this map as a rectangle now there if you are using Try mesh then you can use this as a map as a try okay now let's mesh and then go to return now if you see here what is happening now these elements are created in different element type and these elements are created in different element type so what we can do now if you go here tool 
and here you will find that there are different options are there you can organize that you can select the elements so let's by face and here you can define in mesh u type then you can move okay suppose if you have created by default um, elements in different components then you can use this option in order to create or in order to move the respective mesh so let's discuss further 2d auto mesh now we can further create now suppose if you don't have here a nodes then what you need to do in order to split this go to further nodes then we will create artificial nodes over here create and then before doing meshing we can use quick edit we can split this by nodes reject right then go to further 2d auto mesh and use the same options mesh now here we can use three we calculate mesh and here we can use the eight numbers right now as i said that here you can say it all and you will find that here this will going to create as a rectangle now that is all about our this mesh now let's start discussing about how we can play with the fillet mesh so now we will find that there are different fillets are there so here if you want to do a proper fillet mesh then just click and here let's put furthermore three recalculate mesh now if you want to create additional elements either you can click like this put two to three elements across the fillet so that we will have a you can see that fillet will going to capture furthermore we need to put let's see now you can see that fillet is captured properly now let's furthermore here we can put three so that you will capture okay this is now let's do one thing suppose you have created mesh and you want to change that go to geometry we get it now here you can even play with the density so now if you see that here we are doing changes and once we will do the change what it is happening it is moving to the ls bracket the color code from that you will come to know so let's do further so i'm just exploring the different options of meshing and let's put three elements okay now we can see that it is as same as that only the elements are in different component so furthermore tool organize select by face and you can shift or select the component and then move okay so like that you can create a respective mesh now let's discuss about the whole portion so how to do mesh over here so in order to do that you can go to surface edit and here we can do some sort of editing before that we can create a washer at these four locations so let's go to quick edit further and here we can use the washer split here let's see that 2 mm okay reject that and let's put one okay now what we did we created a 1 mm of respective mesh 1 mm of split for the respective hole now let's do one thing let's do try to do a mesh with this now and here we can directly put a 3 mm so that there is no need to change mesh now if you see that with the 3 mm also we will find that the mesh is not that much good so let's put here 2 so that this is captured properly 8 mesh style set mesh suppose if you try to set here then what will happen now it will still you will find because this is nothing but your whole portion so in that case we need to do some sort of editing let's try with this uh, mesh style let's reject return and let's try one more time if it will work mesh now here you can calculate let's see what are the different options if we can make let's first make it 10 10 
so that it will be a your proper core mesh let's put here 11 so now if you see that with the 11 it's not working so let's put 8 let's put over 8 now still it is difficult to see uh, the mesh is not that much good so what we need to do in that sense let's reject this and we can we use here the option called surface edit so here select the surfaces and here what we can do now we can select split this surface with the help of plane so let's here and here we can use surface and with the help of plane so before that we can create a central point so for that go to nodes so we need to look into that distances and here three nodes so let's select the edge one two three points that is basically a three node and here you will find the option called circle center so you will find that we have created circle center with the help of three nodes on a circle now let's go further to surface edit select the surfaces and here you can select along the y axis let's try with the y axis first select the point and trim now you can see that with the help of y axis this trim is created but at the same time you will find that here is additional slice is created so let's reject that then you can find this here it is created so let's trim first we can do one thing we can do that later on so now this is all about your x y axis and let's try now z axis trim so now you can see that along the z axis the trim is performed let's further select all and here let's try now y axis trim okay now you can see that this is the additional split is created so what we can do country and we can select that which is not useful okay now there are furthermore few options like if you want to uncheck you can see that it will show the wireframe if you click here you will find that this is nothing but your surface now furthermore here this is wireframe for the elements you can see here and this is the shaded view for the elements now let's do 2d auto mesh and let's select now quarter by quarter and let's do the mesh now let's put here 3 3 3 3 okay now we have completed the mesh for this now let's do for this put over 3 if you want put here 4 put here 4 now you can see that the mesh is the previous mesh and the mesh after the split you will find the difference so that this that's why we first cover the splitting and now select all this and let's try here let's put 4 okay now you can see that the mesh difference is in previous case and right now now let's for there are further more elements which we need to move tool organize by attach and let's final move that in the respective mesh bracket okay now you can hide this and you can check the mesh how your mesh is created right so likewise you can create here what we did we first use some of the splitting options we first use here also we use quick edit options we use auto mesh so this is all about your quad mesh okay now in next video we will discuss about how to do a tria mesh and then later on we will go for the rule mesh and like that we will go for a more complex geometry so thank you guys thank you for watching let me know your comments i will be there to help you